up superstars right back at it with another vlog just came to reach out to y'all whole lot of stuff going on they talking about opening everything back up and all of this as if this stuff is a joke and you know people are dying off of this you know I have some loved ones that uh, have been directly affected one of them passed away he was in the hospital for three weeks and uh, they let him out the hospital he passed away the next day you know then come to find out his wife is in the hospital in the uh, in a coma all related to COVID uh, both of his brothers have uh, tested positive for the COVID, you know, and uh, people are walking around and, you know, social distancing is almost all but forgotten right now and the way people are acting, you know, it's like, this stuff ain't a joke, you know, so just uh, be careful, you know, don't don't take it lightly, you know, I'm, I'm out right now because I had to run and get some uh, some work boots. Because of uh, where I'm going to be at tomorrow, they, they don't want my regular shoes I wear to work. And they were complaining today, so I had to go and buy some boots real quick. Uh, some steel toes, so, you know, those type of things. But, uh, yeah, other than that, you know, just still trying to, you know, wade the water, be smart, you know, make wise decisions, uh, stay safe, uh, you know, and uh, don't do my best to not put others in jeopardy you know by me going to work every day you know I you know run the risk of being exposed so you got to be mindful when you're in those type of positions who you uh, allow yourself to be around you know and uh, and uh, yeah and just be be uh, conscious and be considerate of others even though you may be able to uh, withstand it because you know I'm I'm fairly healthy, you know, I was uh, in the gym every day and everything before all of this stuff kicked off, so I'm not like I was, uh, you know, I don't smoke, and you know what I mean, none of that stuff, so I'm, you know, a healthy person, but that don't, just because I may be able to make it don't mean that someone else may be able to make it, you know, and then I was reading an article from a woman who had suffered from it, and uh, she was talking about how rough it was and even afterwards, even after she's healed up from it, she's not healed up from it. You know, uh, it's crazy because the stuff, it, it's like it, it puts blood clots in your lungs. So you can, you know, die from that. Uh, blood clots in your heart, you know, you can die from that. So, you know, it's, it's bad when you get it but it can be bad even once you got rid of it, you know, and obviously everybody, it doesn't affect that way, but who knows who is going to affect that way. She survived it and she's still suffering, you know, and that's the thing, you know, so yeah, just, just be smart, you know, just be smart. Cause these times is, you know, it's tough times right now, but you know, they're saying tough times don't last tough, last tough people do, you know, so just uh do your best if you're blessed enough to still be able to go to work go to work you know don't don't be reckless you know still you know do what you're supposed to be doing and uh be mindful of, you know about how you go about your business you know i keep hand sanitizer on deck you know got to you gotta have it you know and you wash your hands you know keep your hands out your face i got my mask in the back seat you know so and uh so, you know, I'm not not living scared because, you know, that's not how you're supposed to do. You don't walk around scared, but you just, you know, you be intelligent and smart with your decisions, you know, and don't put yourself in unnecessary uh, situations that could bring harm to yourself. Like me, I got a family. I get it. I go home. Everybody get it. You know what I mean? That's So I have to be smart about how I'm moving and, you know, and all of that. And even if you don't have someone at home, you know, if you got mother, father, brother, sister, you know, y'all might want to see each other, whatever. So you got to be smart and think about it from that aspect, you know, and, and just take this time if you are at home to, you know, learn something, you know, learn a trade or, you know, study, get some certifications, uh, read something to, you know, get a different understanding, the stock market or, you know, business you know anything just don't just be idle because that's what some people are doing they're being idle and this time it may not be productive in the way that you want but it can still be productive you know just 
use this time to better yourself in some way to get, come out of this a little bit better a little bit further along you know take advantage of it you know because shoot that's what my whole thing was if i would have been laid off during this period i was going to be studying and getting me some certifications you know i wasn't going to just be the same person coming back out of it because you're already playing catch up you know they, they say they're not cutting all bills and all of this stuff but they, they're not get, letting you live for free either you got to pay that back at some point so the longer this goes on the more that you got to play catch up with you know so that's another thing some people out here like oh shoot they ain't cutting it off i'm just not gonna pay that's not smart you know if you can pay pay you know i pay everything shoot i'm paying it like regular I ain't taking advantage of none of that because it don't make sense to me. You ain't taking advantage. You're setting yourself up. And there's a difference. It's one thing if they were saying, uh, what, you know, we waiving all uh, electric bills and all of that. Yeah, oh, sure. Yeah, <laughs> let me bank that money. A sappy though. But that's not, that's not what they're doing. You know, they, they foregoing the, the, the cutoffs. Bills still accumulating. You know, so all of these things. And that's what I say when I'm saying uh, move wisely, you know. If you're a child, you know, don't fall off your your studies. You know, don't uh, forget about schooling because you don't have to go there every day. Because that, that just, you know, if you, you use it or you lose it. If you're not staying in the books, you're not learning something, uh, keep your mind active, then that's detrimental to you. You know, regardless of where you are in your schooling, you know. So all of that stuff means something, you know. So, shoot, you got to. You know, everybody, we all have to think and be mindful, you know? Shoot, I got the little, fake little K95 mask, KN95 or whatever. My company actually uh, gives them to us, so it works out like that for me, you know? But then, you know, when you have to do stuff like go buy work boots, what you gonna do? So, you know, these are the boots I had to go buy. I had to go, so you know I got some, uh, you know, some Timberland Pros, uh, steel toe boots. Gotta, gotta be, uh, got some, you know, Timberland Pro steel boot, steel toe boots. You know, you have to uh, take care of them feet. <laughs> the feet start hurting. The game over. No cap. Game over for real. You know, so you got to be mindful of all that. I, I mean, I used to do that too sometimes, buy a little cheap out and buy a little cheap boots. Then your feet hurting, then you got to go get some good boots anyway. So you just wasted that money, whatever you paid on them cheap boots. You could have had that. You still got to go buy you some decent boots. You can't walk around with your feet hurting. You can't function. Feet hurting, it's a game over. You know, you, everything stopped. Mind stopped, body stopped. You're like, ooh, I got, got to get this right, right now. But, yeah, it's weather's breaking, so, you know, everything going to get a little better, you know, with this, you know, we don't we'll know how this thing is going to bounce back, you know, because obviously, you know, virus season is, you know, f winter, spring, you know, part of the fall, part of the spring, winter time, and then summertime, it goes away for the most part because they don't survive in that intense heat, constant, consistent, intense heat, but then... You know, time go right around. We don't know if this is like, uh, like the flu, or you know what I mean, or what it is. They call it the. Uh, they say it's like in the SARS family or whatever, something to that effect. But they've been telling us what they want to tell us from the beginning. So it's not like you can sit back and believe whatever these people saying. They saying whatever they feel like saying, and it's up to you to do your due diligence and actually learn. And try to understand which way this truck going. Try to understand what's. Oh, I could have just stayed over here. Sorry about that uh, fire engine coming. So something happening somewhere. Yes. But yeah. And uh, oh yeah, I was talking about the uh, weather, weather breaking, you know, and then, you know, it's gonna go away because of the summertime and all of that. And then everybody gonna forget about it. And then it's gonna get cold and we don't know if it's gonna come back. So for me, I'm already got it in my mind that during this 
a warm time i'm gonna prepare for if it does bounce right back or if something else because we don't know what these people are doing they they doing what they want to do they shut the world down with this and and it's crazy and uh, you know i'm not a somebody who's in the conspiracy theories but reality is reality and uh, intelligence is intelligence and everything is in the conspiracy sometimes it just is what it is these people let that thing loose if you want to sit back and think that this an accident or it somehow got out or it's bats and they gonna mock it from people that been eating bats for thousands of years okay well you think that you know I'm, I'm a little more intelligent than that and I understand that they often do different things you look at Bale the pale horse and see the thing that they did uh, in, in, in prisons you know running tests and stuff on people will look up uh uh mk ultra and see how they was experimenting with lsd and different drugs trying to uh, uh, uh figure out mind control the, these these people it's a few trying to control the many so just be be wise about that you know and it ain't about uh oh you conspiracy no just look do your research and look into stuff instead of just trying to debunk everything without any understanding you know do your own due diligence because if you sit back and take what they say and run with it like it's real you is give me dummy you understand that give me dummy that's what you are because they're gonna lead you by the nose and you're gonna be the one that walk off that cliff because they because they sent you that way nah i'm not that guy i'm always looking to it and find out for myself and i'm not sitting back talking about some old oh, but there's uh, so many things like people don't uh realize it's a system called harp h-a-a-r-p look it up Google everything I'm saying and see what they do. They shoot like a million uh, boats into the ionosphere, create storms and all kind of stuff. Or, or um, like the technology that they have is on a whole nother level. Like people think they know, but they don't know because they got some stuff for you. Um, it's just all kind of stuff that's going on right before our eyes under our nose and people walking around with their eyes wide shut. Don't be one of them people. You know, let this be a wake up call because at any time they can do something like this. These are what you call trial runs. How do people respond? What what are they willing to give up? Now they understand. People, you have some people, they're going to buck the system. That's what it's always going to be. Some people are going to buck the system, but the majority of the people are going to give in and say, okay, well, will you tell me what you want me to do and I'm going to do it so you can make it better? not gonna think about nothing not trying to understand not being smart about it you know because even before the stuff was uh before they were saying it was airborne uh my wife and i was talking and it was like it has to be airborne off the strip how do how's it pass it so much it ain't all just somebody touching stuff it's got to be airborne but they waited to tell you that now they, they still coming out with more symptoms so just understand what's going on they're not uh not just finding the stuff out they're letting it out or at their leisure you know they're telling you what they want you to know when they want you to know it it's controlled information because it's it's about control so just uh just be just be smart you know just understand what what world we're in and how things going and all of that and be smart just be smart superstars you know it's, it's, it's so many things that's happening in this world and you know and most of it's avoidable sometimes something ain't avoid it's not avoidable and you know what you what you what you're gonna do you, you, you gonna you know deal with the situation you adapt and you you roll with it you know that's what I do if I if I can do something I'm gonna do it 100% of the time but if it's nothing I can do I'm not gonna sit back and whine and cry and be oh whoa it's me no I'm gonna say okay it's nothing I can do to uh, prevent this but okay now how do I adapt to this and and survive through it so that it doesn't take me all the way for bad and that's what you gotta do alright I, I know I've been sitting here wrapping y'all head off and you know I ain't, it's been a while since I talked to y'all so I guess I got a lot to say <laughs> but it's always a blessing to talk to y'all superstars and uh like i say i'm not giving up on this thing it's gonna be a lot of things gonna happen it's like i say it's gonna open up and things gonna be uh more available we'll be able to do different things and, and when that time come guess who's gonna still be here me you guessed it i'm gonna be here and i'm gonna be doing whatever the different things you know just living my life having fun you know but still being responsible you know not being reckless you know with anything and uh and i'm gonna bring y'all along with me you know 
So uh, uh, if you took the time to watch this video, I say thank you. I truly appreciate it. You know, uh, if you would subscribe if you haven't already, hit that like button, hit the bell notification. You know, share it, all that good stuff. And uh, until the next time, superstars. Y'all have a wonderful evening. Be safe. Be smart. And uh, take it easy. Peace.